Hi, thank you for joining me for another video from The Women's Well. Um, the video that you've stumbled upon today is called This Mouth of Mine, The Power of the Tongue. And this is just a small uh, video from a larger four-part series that I do called This Mouth of Mine. And so I just wanted to share a little bit of a, a sound bite with you today. So let's just jump right in at James 3, verses 3 through 11. When we put bits into the mouth of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal. Or take ships as an example. Although they are large and are driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot wants to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue also is a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body, sets the whole course of one's life on fire, and is itself set on fire by hell. All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures are being tamed and have been tamed by mankind, but no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil full of deadly poison. With the tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse human beings who have been made in the likeness of God. Out of the same mouth comes praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? And here in this passage, we see the power of something so small, such as our tongue. God compares it to a huge ship that is able to be turned by a very small rudder. He also compares it to a big forest fire, which we've seen a lot of those here in California, that's, that started typically by a small spark or a small little fire, but sets the whole thing on fire. Well, that's the same thing that our tongue can do. And that's the reason that I put this um, series together is because I begin to notice and recognize that with my own tongue. I noticed that my tongue was causing all kinds of of, of issues and hurt and pain and chaos and it also in return created shame and guilt in me because every time I said something that was inappropriate or ungodly I went away not feeling great about myself or some victory or like I had won the battle or won the fight I went away feeling extremely guilty and feeling shame for how I had spoken to my husband or my kids. And so as I studied this out, I began to recognize that we have great power with the tongue. But with great power comes great responsibility. And that was something that took me a long time, unfortunately, to recognize that my tongue has the power to give and bring life, but at the same time, it has the power to bring death. You know, that's what the Bible says. And that death is, is uh, that, that death creates pain and hurt. And in the scripture speaks about, we praise God and we also curse human beings that are made in God's likeness. And I know what you're thinking. When I used to read that from a shallow perspective, I used to think, oh, I don't curse. I don't struggle with cursing. I would never curse anyone. You know, I never even cursed before I was a Christian. And that's not the only thing that cursing is. Cursing is also speaking something onto someone that is discouraging and that takes them away from who they're meant to be in God. And unfortunately, I felt like I uh, was in uh, guilty of doing that to my husband and to my children. When you say to someone, you are this, and you place upon them something that they are but aren't meant to be from God, that is like a curse. And that is something that they have to shake off. And so there are four things that I want to, that I learned and that I want to share with you that must be a part of all of my crucial conversations and a part of my talks, whether it be with my husband, my children, my friends, and even strangers. And that I realize over studying this out and by uh, uh, failing uh, more than a few times that all four of these are very important. And the first one is 
uh, what you say. And I call these my tongue tools. So these are my tongue tools, and I use them every time. I need every one of these four tools to, to do a good job in my communication. And the first one is uh, what you say. And so word choice does matter. The second thing is how you say it. And how you say it means your tone, your volume, and your body language. And so I have to put all of those in place because if not, my volume can be too high, my tone can be a little bit snappy, and my body language can communicate something that I don't want to communicate. And then the third thing is when you say it, timing. So timing is very important. And the fourth thing, but certainly not least, is the heart from which it comes from. And that is your motives. That is the, the, the well from within of why and where it's coming from and why you're saying what you say. And so all four of those are important. Just yesterday, true story, I was having a conversation with my son and I just wanted to connect with him and share some things and you know keep some authenticity with him on some on, on a certain issue. And I feel like I felt like what I said uh, was good, that my word choice was good. I felt like how I said it was good, my, my tone, my body language, my volume was good, and I felt like honestly my motives were in the right place. And the one thing that I was missing was when I said it. My timing was completely off. So of course that triggered something in him. And so that even though all those other things were at play in a good way, because my timing was off, he took it a different way than I than I meant for it to take it, it. It came across as a bigger deal than I wanted it to be. And it all worked out, thank God. But as I went back later and evaluated it, I realized that my timing was really off. So it really does take all four of those to have cru uh, good conversations, and especially crucial conversations. And I just want to share with us that our tongue does have power. So let's recognize in this mouth of ours the power that our tongue truly does have and use those four tools that I just mentioned to help you it will go a long way I'm gonna do some more videos on this mouth of mine so watch out for them and join me for the next one